then the countdown was going too fast for me. <laughs> so hopefully you didn't see me sticking my finger in my mouth <laughs> trying to get that grape uh, skin out from between my teeth. Hey, uh, I want to come on and uh, let everybody know um, that are either subscribers to one of my uh, private groups or you have your own uh, stuff going on with PayPal uh, where you're getting reincurring payments from your uh, students or clients, whatever you want to call them. Uh, they may be getting canceled. Uh, and um, I got a few emails from some of my students this morning. Hey, what the heck? How come you're kicking me out of the out of the group? I, uh, well, I'm not. Uh, I was uh, getting a smoothie over at uh, Nectar uh, when I, these emails started coming in. I had nothing to do it. And so I thought, what the heck's going on? I first, uh, of course, go to 22 Social's website because that's where my gates <clears throat> for the payment, uh, PayPal payments are going through. <clears throat> and I found a post uh, from... Uh, uh, Andrew Lane. And you know, what? I'll just go ahead and read it to you if that's okay. It's it's a few paragraphs long, but I think it's uh, it's worthwhile. And it says important in uh, capital letters. Uh, we're looking to a PayPal uh, subscription issue right now that affected many 22 social users. The issue occurred this morning and caused the automatic cancellation of all your paid subscriber accounts. We will keep you updated on this update. Uh, and it does, I don't know if it canceled all of them because I, it looked like a couple went through afterwards, but I could be wrong. Um, at 10.30 a.m., this is the update, uh, Pacific Time update. Uh, we, will, we still haven't found anything on our system that would have caused this. We're in contact with PayPal right now, but it may take time for them to get this resolved instead uh, of awaiting Instead of waiting for PayPal, we are working on a plan to help you recover your paid subscribers. We will post more info and exact instructions within the next few hours. In the meantime, all of your subscribers were um, previously active, will continue to have access to your app. 9.40 a.m. Pacific time. Oh, we're going backwards. <laughs> uh, so that was the last uh, update was the one I just gave you. Before that, as far as we can see, there is nothing on our side that would have caused... Uh, this so we are working with paypal to see if there is any way they can help to get this resolved uh earlier uh the post said um i wish i would have looked at the time because now i'm going backwards going backwards in time uh maybe i'm getting younger is my gray going away uh pacific as uh as of right now we're not sure if the issue was caused by paypal okay so now i'm going to go now and touch on stuff that uh, they resolved in uh as far as comment in the 1030 update which is it's not 22 social, uh, PayPal apparently is having a having an issue, uh, and uh, and I agree with them because I tried to call PayPal and uh, got onto their phone tree and put in that uh, number that they they need uh, for you to get off of their website, and then it said please hold a uh, person will be with you if you don't want to wait, um, let us call you back, and then a, another voice that was a woman's voice and a man's voice comes on and says, unfortunately we cannot continue with this call our systems are. Um, not operating properly or something like that. Those are not the exact words, right? Uh, very similar words that said that things are going to in a hand basket. <laughs> I edited it myself. Uh, and so uh, just so you know, if you have any um, uh, subscription uh, payments that are coming through on a monthly basis, there's a good chance that they got canceled if they're through uh, PayPal. And you're gonna wanna make sure and just to look into that. If you're uh, going through 22 social, then um, get into, I don't know if you're part of the 22 Social Power Users Group. Uh, there, That's where Andrew is posting updates. Um, and I love that uh, they're all over it and they're trying to figure out and try to find, they're actively trying to do that. So uh, we have a few people. So I'm looking at people that said, I've been deeply affected by this as well. Another one, yes, has affected uh, my subscribers. Uh, one of his, one of their subscribers. <coughs> I received a cancellation notice for a subscription, but was uh, still charged the, the subscription fee in PayPal. Huh, that's interesting. So somebody said that they were canceled, received the cancellation, but were still charged. So <laughs> something's wacky. Something is, is, is going on. When I check my PayPal account, it does say that the payment was canceled. So I don't know if it's the subscription in its entirety or just this month's payment. So um, just kind of want to let you know, want to come on really fast. Uh, I don't want to tie this up with any other information. I did a fairly lengthy um, Facebook Live yesterday on um, the uh, um, the issue. Now I forgot what <laughs> information. Shoot. Somebody help me out. Um, somebody throw me a bone. Hey, Elaine. Yikes. Hopefully not hacked. Dreaded stuff. I know. Oh, wow. The world is coming to an end. I know. 
if I'm not getting my money, what am I gonna what am I gonna do for lunch? That, that's my lunch money that people pay me, and I go out there and I'm able to get sushi. Uh, if I get two people that pay in the same day, I can afford a, a sushi lunch, and it, it, it's devastating. The world is literally coming to an end. Um, <laughs> Nobby, there's is there anything you uh, you like? Uh, <laughs> all the tools uh, you uh, apparently uh, are not a fan of. Um, and hold on, I'm looking for what my what did I say yesterday? Crap! I was going to use it. Knowledge, knowledge, commerce, knowledge, commerce. Yeah, so I'm in the knowledge commerce business, and uh, I did a long post on that, so you might want to check that out, and uh, and see. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm looking uh, was looking for what all I said it in the post. But anyway, it's a knowledge commerce. And I did a, it, it's, it ended up being fairly long. Nobby was on there and he kept me on there for a very long time. I was trying to hang up, hang up. I was trying to end the uh, broadcast, but uh, Nobby was having fun towards the end and uh, speaking with Elaine, who's on right now. So, so thank you, Elaine. You, it's, you get a double dose of me two days in a row, uh, late last night and early this morning. Not early. It's noon 30. It's noon 30 here in uh, Southern California. And uh, and while I'm here, I want to make sure and uh, wish all my veterans, uh, uh, my veteran friends, um, uh, a, a, a warm thought of appreciation for all that you have uh, you have sacrificed for us. So uh, happy Veterans Day to all of you, uh, especially if I'm not on tomorrow and happy birthday to the uh, to the Marine Corps. All right. Uh, we need to have a police officer's day. I don't want to cut into the we, uh, veterans certainly deserve a day. Uh, the Marine Corps deserves their birthday. But uh, after all that's done, uh, we should uh, talk about, you know, police officer's day or uh, law enforcement day um, of some sort, because there's a there's a hell of a lot of uh, of us. And there's a hell of a lot of them who have been um, killed, injured um, and um, have, uh, you know, sacrificed a lot uh, to defend our communities uh, individually, uh, not to minimize no way what uh, uh, these young men sacrifice when they go to war uh, at way too young of an age. Uh, I'm watching the special on, uh, if you haven't watched it yet, you should, um, and watch uh, the PBS special on Vietnam. And oh, it, it is, I remember as a kid, my, my brother, his draft number was too high. Or was it too low? I can't remember. Either one, he wasn't taken uh, in the draft. And that was a big relief in the family that he didn't have to go to Vietnam. And But many of his friends did. Um, and uh, I remember being, I, mean, I used to have dreams that I, I was in Vietnam and should have been going to Vietnam. And uh, if you remember at the time, uh, it was the first really uh, extensively televised war that uh, we were seeing live, uh, maybe not, I think in some points we were seeing live, but many times we were seeing very fresh video coming out of Vietnam um, and began seeing videos of uh, monks uh, setting themselves on fire and um, executions in the streets and the battles that were happening. And um, so that's my first memory. My father was in World War II, so uh, I, I greatly appreciate uh, veterans and very proud of my father who was um, there in France in, in World War II. I landed in Normandy. And um, and so um, there, uh, the, the, uh, the back to the Vietnam documentary, it's about 10 uh, very lengthy, maybe an hour and a half, two hour long uh, episodes. Um, and there's so much I didn't know. Now, um, there was stuff that we were told uh, back then, and there's so much stuff we were not told, right? And so um, this documentary spells it all out. And uh, we're even seeing footage from the North Vietnamese uh, side of things, uh, video footage of, of what was happening on their side, which I, I'm not uh, used to seeing. And we're getting North Vietnamese soldiers who are um, talking about uh, how they killed American soldiers. And, and one of the mistakes, one of the mistakes that was interesting, and I never thought about it, and it, it makes so much sense, that the easiest thing about um, being able to track down American soldiers was the fact that they all smoked and were throwing down their butts, their cigarette butts, and uh, essentially leaving a trail for the North Vietnamese to follow, to find out where they are. Based on if it was still smoking or not, they could tell how far away they were. Um, and that was not in the, in the, uh, in the documentary. Uh, I'm just imagining that that would be true, right? If it's still red, if it's, uh, depending on how much has uh, you know been smoked down as it lays there, that's not fallen off, that's gonna give you some 
you know, the distance that, that they're at, if it's still smoldering, if it's completely out and, uh, and not smoking, uh, then they're at a greater distance. I'm just imagining how now you think about it, it goes, son of a gun. And I, and I know many of you that were in the military probably are aware of that now, because that became probably something that they, they learned about and decided that they were going to tell, um, future warriors about uh, the dangers of uh, throwing down your cigarette butts and, and put them in, in your pockets. And I now I'm remembering seeing in some movies and maybe some other documentaries that they, they smoke and then put them in their uh, pockets. But uh, also the smell, they could smell the cigarette smoke um, and became very skilled at it. So that was just one, it's just one aspect. Uh, and the other thing is that what they talk about, um, John F. Kennedy, when he became president, obviously before he was uh, assassinated, is almost uh, I don't want to say it's identical to what they're saying about Donald Trump, but many of the things that we hear about Donald Trump is that he should have been president. He has no idea what he's doing, that he's uh, it, it, with uh, JFK. They said he was too young and too immature and making uh, childish um, decisions. Now, obviously, uh, Donald Trump is much older and should not be making those. But you got to you got to admit that. Um, JFK was not a child. So, but they were saying how childish he was and immature and not able to handle the presidency. And as the, as the narrator was talking about everything that was being said, I was like, I think that's what they just said about Trump uh, in, in something or other. <clears throat> and then you bring in LBJ, LBJ. Uh, uh, so you got um, JFK, who was a womanizer, right? As women coming in through the white house and God knows what's going on in there. Uh, but he's beloved. Everybody loves him. You got J uh, LBJ, who uh, I've heard video or not, I've heard audios of the way he talks and the F word is every other word uh, and and yelling at people and just a, a, a tyrant uh, from what I understand. I can't wait to watch the movie, to see the movie uh, that uh, Woody Harrelson, who is, uh, I think that's who it is, Woody Harrelson is going to be LBJ. Sorry, I'm rambling, but uh, it's Veterans Day. Uh, uh, sorry about that. <laughs> all these comments that are coming up. I was on a whole other page and wasn't aware of all these comments. I'm just going on a diatribe here and I did. I was not even aware that anybody was listening. Um, um, smiles. Uh, thank you, Elaine. Um, hats off to all the vets. Yes. Uh, service dog is yes, service dog day. Thank you, Dean. Uh, absolutely have a police day. After all, if they, uh, can have a horse's birthday, then please deserve so. <laughs> you're right. Your police experience uh, taught you that. Hey, uh, yeah. So, um, yeah, thank you, Elaine. Uh, Dean, very good service dog day. Um, blessings. Thank you. Yeah, Andrew is going to definitely, and, and Andrew, tack it down. I, I saw a negative comment about 22 Social on there, and I'm just going, you know, I, I love that. I, 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 now I'm off track. I, I love that. I'm glad I wasn't watching you guys, or else I would have completely been off uh, Knowledge Commerce. Hmm, I'll have to remember that. It's great. Yes, it's great, Knowledge Commerce. Uh, that's the new business of, of what we're doing. We're teaching people through Knowledge Commerce, where, or they're paying for our knowledge, Knowledge Commerce. Um so I'm going to go back to Vietnam in just a second. But uh, there's a negative comment about 22 Social. And I love it when people say something negative about a, an app that's online and they're saying, oh, that, that app never works. Blah, blah, blah. And then they get a new computer and everything works perfectly. Right. Uh, the, what's our tendency to blame the software in the in the uh, in the app. Right. Or the web based software. And, and when, in fact, it's probably our Internet is crap. Um, and there's other things uh, that uh, we can't control, like PayPal. There's other things we can't control that, uh, you know, these things have to run on. Like when something's working with Facebook, Facebook changes something, it'll shut down the app that's working with Facebook. And they, they just got to go, hey, they didn't. Facebook doesn't always tell us when they're changing something. So it becomes very difficult to keep up. So back to my, my I know this wasn't a Veterans Day. I probably should have put something in the description. But uh, the Vietnam documentary on um, PBS fantastic it, it i i i'm i i laugh at some things and i shudder at other things that god if we only knew and why didn't we stop and get out early and and then the bombings and the things that took place only because people wanted to um, protect their 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 you know their their earlier decisions that were bad and now they said well let's just bomb the hell out of them because they're not responding like like they should um they're not quitting these the north vietnamese aren't quitting uh and now because i remember as a kid i remember even up into my 20s and 30s every vietnam movie at least in my memory is that they were this dark uh very sneaky um, Asian people that lived in the trees, right? And they were, they were horrific in their torture, right? Every movie was that we were awesome. Uh, and, um, the, these, the evilness of the North Vietnamese that lived in, in the ground, right? They had holes and they lived in trees and they did all this stuff. And they were always these faceless, dangerous people, right? And I'm not, and I'm not, 
I, I you know, again, I'm a very patriotic. Um, uh, I'm uh, it, to some people's uh, uh, um, chagrin. I'm Republican, uh, but um, I, I, I'm very. Uh, I have a different point of view now based on watching this documentary. So I recommend that documentary to you. Uh, I want to thank you all for watching and <laughs> letting me go one second, uh, letting uh, me go off on a whole nother tangent, uh, about, uh, uh, about veterans <laughs> and about police officers at law enforcement day. Uh, and, uh, just really want to let you know about PayPal and that to check your accounts to see what's going on. Just open up your PayPal account, see if there's anything going on and, uh, and be aware that there is a, a, a snafu that is occurring at this moment. All right. Somebody at the door, I got to go. And, uh, thank you all for joining me. And, uh, uh, oh, Graham Reese is even here. Hey, hey Graham. Um, yeah, I'm good too. All right, to all of you, thank you. I really appreciate all of you all all the time and very much. Take care, bye-bye.